All right. So, Kay and I, I let Kay skip school today to do to play cookies, and we are having a mom-daughter day at Magic Kingdom because the boys are taking a super secret trip to surprise their grandmother to Jersey. Plus, they haven't been back. Uh, well, Ryan has, but Jeremy hasn't been back to visit the family. And uh, we got some new cousins for him to visit and all. But we have a scavenger hunt to do, and it is like the best day ever. It is currently 11 o'clock, and it's only like 70 degrees, 77 degrees. And I'm in heaven, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited to spend this day with my girl. Follow along in our... I'm here at the Ticket and Transportation Center. It's 10.30 in the morning, and I got here too late to take the bus to Magic Kingdom, and you'll see why I'm upset in a second. And while I was gonna show you the excessively long line for the monorail, but it just went down. Oh my God, and they are now evacuating it. Shoot. I wonder if it would be easier to take an Uber, but I think the Uber still drops you off here. So, oh man, we gotta get in this line. <sighs> well, we'll get to Magic Kingdom in a week. Let's see. Okay, so the ramp is full and we are now in line all the way back here for the ferry boat. It is 10.31 a.m. Let's see what time we actually get on the boat. So it's been two minutes and the resort monorail opened back up. So we jumped the queue and I will show you the line and now we're hopping in the resort monorail line. So there's the line for the ferry boat and here's the line for the resort monorail. I picked this one. We did it! We're in! We're here at the Magic Kingdom. It is 10.53. That was kind of an ordeal. Ooh, that was kind of stressful. Because the monorail went down, but then the resort monorail came up, and then it kept stopping to like clear the other monorails. That took a really long time. But we're here. We are in Magic Kingdom, and we are gonna have a great day. Ooh, Charlie Show's going on. Oh, and it's the fall show. Oh. Guys, this is my happy place. Disney World Challenge, and it is from, sorry, I can never remember the name, so I have to keep looking at my phone. And it is from Disney Park Adventures, and that's literally what they're called. I found them on Facebook. It's called Disney Park Adventures on Facebook. We are going to show you some yeah, like, of the adventure. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, because I'm going to ruin it if anybody wants to do it. I will put their link and all their information below um, in the information section for, the, for this video. Um, if you want more information, they do have a bunch of different um, scavenger hunts and all on the site. Some are Disney related, some are not. But um, yeah, so this is going to be so much fun today because Kay actually will do this with me where they would not. So we're going to restart the scavenger hunt that me and Lee were going to do a while ago. So it's already been opened um, because me and Lee started it. Now the first clue is give this gem to a young Disney princess as a gift. Won't focus, but the, I swear to you that's what it says. It says, then open the large envelope labeled, it starts. Now, I no longer have the gem, 
because this is the only step we actually completed with the last when we started it the last time so what I did so what I did was got these little gem colored stretchy bracelets so we can find a princess to give them to and then I got a multi-pack because it was so hard to find a single princess without siblings so that if we find a princess with sister princesses we can give them to all of them this time so yeah so now we start our scavenger hunt officially. So we have been here for 20 minutes and this is this, oh my gosh, your other shoe's untied too. And this is the second time our shoes have come on time. Will you double knot them? Double knot them. It will keep them tied longer. Well, there's actually people inside Club 33. Um, they're getting a tour of the building. Does that mean it's open now? Um, ooh, interesting. This is the first time I've seen actual people there. And there is lights on inside. Very, very interesting. There's people outside too. And the door's there. Oh, what's going on? Oh, look, they are all set up. I think they're opening. So I'm not gonna lie, it looked a lot prettier before I ripped it open. Um, but this is how it comes when you first get it. It had the, the original envelope on the front, which had the first clue. And then there's a manila envelope inside. Kay, can you hold the black envelope? That all the rest of the scavenger hunt comes into. And again, I'm not gonna show you everything, so we're gonna shut this off now while we kind of break into it and see what we're up to next. So we are now in the Fast Pass queue for Jungle Cruise. We just did Pirates. I didn't realize that was Kate's first time on Pirates since the new Red Dead scene. She's not a fan of that ride, but I made her go on it anyway. So the cool thing about the scavenger hunt is it includes some of the rides. So we had a challenge in Pirates and we managed to knock it out in about three seconds. The challenge for this one was a little bit harder. We actually had to kind of think about this one, but we were able to... What? We had to think a little bit about it, but we did complete it. So we got two more, so we have four of the 30 challenges completed. We got a lot of work to do around the world. My name is Olivia and I'm going to be your skipper, your lion tamer, your snake charmer, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, I will also be your swimming instructor. Okay? Now, as I said before, we're now entering the Nile River, which is in Africa. It is the longest river in the world. You guys, it goes on for Niles. And Niles. And Niles. And if you don't believe me, well, then you're probably in... Denial! Africa. I just said that, guys. <laughs> but you know, no tour of the jungle is complete without a visit to my good friend Trader Sam. Now Trader Sam here is our head salesman in the jungle, but recently, you know, his sales have been shrinking. It is a pretty cutthroat business if you ask me. So he's got a great deal going on for you guys. Two of his heads for only one of yours. No matter how many ways you slice it or dice it, you always come out ahead. <laughs> you know? If people who only eat vegetables are called vegetarians, that would make Sam a real humanitarian. <laughs> he loves to serve people, always having strangers for dinner. He's such a great guy. Yeah. Once he had me and my boyfriend over for dinner and I told him, I said, Trader Sam, your wife makes an excellent stew. And he said, I know, but I'm going to miss her. <laughs> then I told him, you know, I'm not really a big fan of your brother Mark. And he said, it's okay, you can just try the soup. <laughs> but once we were late and all he had left for us was a cold shoulder and some finger food. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding, no. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm dressed in khaki and I go around in circles all day. Please lower your expectations, all right? <laughs> now we are it is crazy busy in Magic Kingdom today. Jungle Cruise is 75 minutes. What? When we went to Pirates, it was 45K, I think. I, I think Pirates it. was 45. Jungle Cruise was 65 when we got on. Now it's 75. Whew, thank God for Fast Pass. Hey guys, I found Waldo. Oh man, it is just unbelievably busy here today. It's Wednesday. Like, what is going on? I get it, but. Halloween's next week. Like, it's not even this week. It shouldn't be this busy. 
This is crazy. This is supposed to be the slow season. What the heck? So one of our challenges is to conduct while wearing the sorcerer Mickey hat. So conduct. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, that, wait a minute. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> What's Mickey Mouse? Do, 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 do. There you go. Good job. We did it. Yay. Tom Sawyer looks so lonely being closed, but it is temporarily closed for refurbishment. It's closed for about two months. We'll be reopening for the peak holiday season though. Kirsten, you're walking in poop. Did you know that? Yeah, you're, you're walking in poo. Your feet are gonna smell. You're not putting those dirty feet in my car. You stepped on it too. I guess I did. Guess neither of us can go home. We're stuck here forever. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, next stop. Yeah. Yeah. Going to the yep. And this one involves the But she's my little math prodigy, so she's gonna do all the adding. You're not a math prodigy. She adds better than I do. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? <laughs> and consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> So we are doing it again. We're doing our mobile order, uh, Columbia Harbor House. So we just ran blurry, crazy blurry. So we just ran upstairs and found a table. It's not really a window seat, but we got some light. It's close enough. We just found a little two-seater. And Kay got nuggets, and I got mac and cheese and hush puppies. And we're just gonna relax in the air conditioning and eat. We have our scavenger hunt. We're trying to figure out where we're at and plot our next move to try to get strategize and plan our moves accordingly to, to cover the park efficiently to get as most points as possible. So I have to say, I screwed up and didn't realize that Kay's meal came with hush puppies and not french fries. You had to specially um, select french fries. And when I asked, like, I was totally willing to just order a side of fries and they wouldn't let me pay for them. Um, I apologized and they actually said, like, there's no sorries and they just gave them to me. So, Dorothy, I don't know if you're watching, but you are amazing. Dorothy from Australia that works at Columbia Har Harbor House. You totally um, saved the day because my daughter will not eat hush puppies and they wouldn't take them back either. So I got extra hush puppies. So this is turning out to be an amazing lunch. So, yeah. Good job, Disney. Whoa, you look like a ghost. I know. I Are you the ghost that's following me home today? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've been so focused on this. We're like more than halfway done, and we realized we haven't filmed any of this. So we just completed a challenge, and now we're opening one of the bonus envelopes, which is like an extra challenge. And this one is based on the Jungle Book. So what does this one say? Mowgli is lost deep in the jungle. You'll need to get on the cruise boat to help look for him. Each item below can be found in a single location in the attraction. How many of these do you see? Check answers at the bottom. The answer sheet, 25 points for correct. Oh crud, we already rode this. But we should remember, right? I believe there was... Well, I filmed most of the ride, so hopefully we'll have the answers already. Lion... lion. Oh, I definitely filmed that. One. Totem statues by the gators. Oh boy. I mean, there six lions. I, I definitely have that on film. Totem, Totem statues, statues by the gators. Where were their gators? Oh no, we're screwed. <laughs> we just don't get this one. All right. One. Yeah, we might not be able to do that one. Okay, well maybe the wait time will drop when we'll get to ride it again. Yes. So, all the times me and Lee come to Magic Kingdom, I have not been into Fantasyland with Lee. Like past Columbia Harbor House, 
in forever. Like I have not been back here in like forever. It's crazy how long it's been. Oh look, actually Gaston's out. So we can actually use the real Gaston. We don't have to go up to him. We just got to point at him. Where is the real Gaston? He's in the corner there. Kay is like the queen of the scavenger hunt. She is just taking it over. It's been amazing. We are having the best day ever. We are now on to Fast Pass number four. We were able to get a Fast Pass for Winnie the Pooh um, because we one of our bonus tickets was for Winnie the Pooh. So that's the one we rode. So now that's the one we have to go into the ride and there's questions. We have to find clues in the ride to answer the questions. Oops, looks like we're moving. There, we gotta go. Just like Peter Pan says, and here we go. It's amazing that there's, it seems like a lot of people. Is there enough teacups for everybody? I guess so. Uh, I'm just following Kay at this point. Oh, go Kay, go Kay, walk, walk. Yes, we got our favorite colors, purple and green. It's like, it's kismet, Kay, fate. Oh man, this should be fun. Oh. Now we're going to play a fun little game called Sea Mom Throw Up. Oh man. She's going to make it really bad on me. I can see it now. You do it. You know you want to. I'll tell you to stop if it gets bad. which there's only two of us, so this is an easy one, has to be touching on the top a different trash can in Tomorrowland at the same time. So here's me. Let's see, can, where is she? Where are you? There she is. Wave, Kay. There's Kay. I had to let go of the trash can. But there she is. We're both touching the same trash can at the same, two different trash cans at the same time. Good Lord, there is an extended queue for the Tomorrowland Speedway and it has a 35 minute standby wait. Okay, have you ever seen a, an extended no. queue for that? That's crazy. Kind of curious what the people mover looks like. Shall we go check it out? It sounds like gonna ride it. What? It like gonna ride it anyway. Well, I kind of want to. That's my favorite ride. But what if it's a long line? Well, we'll see. Let's go see. And that, my friends, is the line for the people mover. Holy cannoli. Oh wait, nope, yeah, yeah, that's the line for the people mover. Yes, I'm not getting to ride my favorite ride today. Oh well. So it looks like Buzz is currently a 50 minute wait, but look at the fast pass line. Holy cow, even that's got a long line. But we're doing it. Holy cow, it goes all the way down and all the way around. That's crazy. Almost down to the entrance of Monsters Inc. Left floor. And this is the fast pass line for Buzz. Oh, Kate's happy because she's got a seat. 
this child. 12 going on 80 with her creaky bones. The student has become the master. Oh no, wait! I destroyed you! You have 49,000. I have 441,000. Oh, here I thought she beat me. I beat her by 400,000. <laughs> Never mind. I am still amazing. She's learning though. She's getting there. We almost got to get off the ride. And here we sit. So close. Getting ready to go now. Yay! This is a look of concentration as I teach Kay the ways of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. Doesn't Princess Elsa look cute in her mini ears? So adorable. And this is another one of our clues that we have completed. We are probably about 75% done now. So our last challenge is to ring a bell. Does it count if it's a Tinker Bell? Holy cow, we actually got to see somebody lose a balloon. That was one of our clues. I didn't think we'd see it. And there goes balloon number two within like 30 seconds. What? Technically that means we get extra, right? No, it doesn't mean we get double points, cheater. I have to say, it's been a pretty awesome day. Yeah. We've been here since 1030. Yeah. It's now about four o'clock. We've been here all day. And, and we're gonna be here till like 530. Yeah, our last fast pass is at 530. I actually scored a fast pass for, for Peter, Peter Pan. Pan while I was in the queue for Buzz Lightyear for 530 and I was like yes please because that never happened so yeah we're gonna do Peter Pan and I'm super excited because I, mean, I never get to do that because I won't wait in lines because I'm a Disney diva but um yeah so we're gonna do that and then we're hoping the wait times will drop a little for Jungle Cruise Ooh, because one of the bonus um for was for Jungle Cruise and we opened it after we wrote it, so we kind of need to write it again to answer the question, so we'll see. like Ariel to me. Tiger Lily, we found her. sunsets on this most magical mommy daughter day this was like the best day ever we did nine rides and it was like the busiest day ever the fast pass gods just lined up for us it was glorious um so the scavenger hunt was fun we haven't tallied up the results we want to get home and like because there's some we have to check the answer keys to make sure we got the answers correct. So we're gonna wait till we get home and get settled and do all that. So um, we'll edit, add that clip in right here. If you like following along on these adventures, please click that subscribe button. And now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys.